I really, really love Fruits Basket. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting Momiji Soma from Fruits Basket. Uh, I'm starting with a linen canvas and acrylic paints. And I actually had to speed up this footage quite a bit, so I probably won't be able to talk about everything I'm doing. I think it's at 27 times speed. Um, but you can see sometimes my reference picture shows up. Uh, this is from season one. And I think the episode is called It's a Secret, where Momiji goes to Toru's workplace and is talking to her. Uh, I won't give too many spoilers or anything if you haven't watched all of the series yet. Uh, but yeah, Momiji's my favorite. Now, I'm not like a, a professional artist by any means. Um, I had some training, I guess, as a teenager, but uh, I didn't go to school for it or anything, so um, there's definitely better artists you can find out there, but I hope that you enjoy relaxing here with me while I work on this. The whole purpose of my channel is basically to show people that, like, you know what you're painting or creating, it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, as long as you're having fun and learning along the way, like, that's more than enough. Uh, so now I'm painting the, the buildings, and I really was not happy with them. Uh, I painted over the windows several times, and it took like a dry brush to mix another color over, um, but I, I accidentally got some, some like black paint on the sky. Um, but I'm sitting here with like the finished painting, and it, it doesn't look too bad there, it's not super obvious. The reason Momiji is my favorite out of the Zodiac members is that he's just so kind and he's like not afraid to be kind and express how much he cares about others. Uh, like he's always giving hugs and he's always planning trips and things and that's something that we don't really see with y Yuki and Kyo because uh, they, they're very, <laughs> I love them too, but they're very troubled boys so they, they can't always express themselves well. So even though Momiji is younger than them, I feel like he's someone that they could really look up to. I've been bothering my friends to watch the show too, but then none of them have started. Um, so if you guys want to discuss anything about Fruits Basket in the comment section, please do. I would be really happy, uh, especially to hear who your favorite characters are. I'm just doing like base layers for the skin and the hair. With acrylic paint, it's it's a really thick medium, so you have to be really careful and you don't always want to put a lot of layers down. Uh, so most of the time I just put one to two layers down. Because anything more and it ends up being really raised. I don't know about you guys, but uh, the Kotobuka statues that were made of Yuki and Kyo, I've, I've already uh, placed an order for those. Um, I'm really hoping that they do more characters, and I'm hoping by pre-ordering it, that'll signal to the company that like, they should make more statues. Now I'm painting his shirt. I did this painting over several days, so I apologize if like the canvas kind of jumps in position and things like that. I, I didn't expect this to take me as long as it did. And I left a little bit of a gap so that I knew where to outline the collar and like the shoulder and things like that. So now I'm just trying to paint the whites of his eyes. Uh, I was really nervous about that part. 
the well the next part for the eyes because I <laughs> I don't have any like training in manga or anime. Um, I have a reference image obviously, but I've never done anything like this. So I decided to outline with brown instead of black so that it would look a little softer and sweeter. Uh, I forgot, one of my old painting instructors said to never use like just plain black paint because it'll look really jarring. And if you go to my channel, I had done a painting of Inosuke from Demon Slayer and I used very dark black lines uh, on that one. So I'm a little rusty. I haven't painted in several years and I'm just getting back into it so I'm sure that I will improve. So I'm just using uh, the eyes cut out for my reference image to try to do the irises and the pupil. And I outlined his eyes and his eyelashes with like a, a gray color so they would pop a little more. I hope they don't clash too much with the, the brown lines, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that this is about it for this painting. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this. I actually am working on recreating the Pokédex through paper crafting. Uh, if that's something you might be interested in, please feel free to check it out. You are more than welcome to come hang out here with us. Take care, stay safe, bye!